Talk Radio. Welcome to the Artist Hour, everybody. We are back with another special episode. Today, we are joined here by Zach and um, the angels from the southern region, uh, angels from the south. We yo, got Wasabi, Joach, and Young Crypto here with y'all. Yo, yo. So, welcome to the show, everybody. Hope y'all are doing all right after the night we had. <laughs> <laughs> we went. We hit the. We hit the domain. I like going to places I don't feel like I belong. There's like nothing but like white people and like scary people and it was it was fun to blend in and get fucked up that was crypto's first time being in the club yeah oh, really? i got drunk as fuck for the first time dude honestly you drank a lot like shout out the milfs <laughs> <Dude. here. laughs> for free damn they're they're turning you out <laughs> that's crazy dude, bro joge you hung way more than i thought you could yeah, I, I, like I ain't I even gonna lie. Can. Like, I used to have that life, man. Like it's it's that. that it's that Mexican in us. <laughs> I, 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 I was ve- I was very surprised at how well you handled your alcohol. You too, so, you too. You drink a lot. Like yeah, I feel like you're I not you're sure. not giving yourself enough slack. You uh, you drink quite a bit. I wasn't was sipping them. Yeah, no, was you weren't. You, yeah, that's crazy. Have that's you tough. have you been to a club yet, with Wasabi? Uh, like a club club? No, I haven't. On Bro, we gotta take him. Nah. I, I feel like I feel like you would love the club, like a club club. Yeah, it's just fire. I'm not as fuck, bro. And the DJ was actually mad decent last night. Yeah. Sometimes it's hit or miss, but last night he was he was playing some. It's kind of wild. It's kind of wild how like they 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 recycle the same like ten songs and like from the 2010s. I'm like, more than happy with that. It still though. works though. Yeah, yeah, it's still, it still hits. Like I don't know I'm how I don't know how like because if I hear it like regularly like like on the radio I'm like oh it's whatever but like they like be mixing the same. Sh- Shit I've been hearing since I was like twelve. And they like, did a crazy mashup last night. What was it? It was Pitbull and Daft Punk or some shit. I that that shit was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I felt like I was in uh, the satisfaction one was crazy. Yeah, that satisfaction one was sick. Um, so talking about music and whatnot, these gentlemen make music. Great music, by the way. Um, so I wanted to go. I wanted to start with like what got y'all into making music. Um, we can just go off like one one at a time if let's, y'all would like. Let's go a little bit more back. Yeah. Okay. Because just because that incorporates in how me and crypto met. Okay. So, yeah. 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 So, so let's go. Look. Let's start. Let's, okay. Let's, let's start go. how y'all all met each other. How about that? But you, I'll start. I'll start it off. Let's I go. met a. Uh, I met Wasabi in sixth grade band. And That's so ever since then, <laughs> yeah, yeah. we've been friends. I met Joe at a Playboy Cardi concert in like 2021, but oh, yeah. we became friends because of a cemetery meme. <laughs> that, that's real. Oh, what, was that what the was one at the Freeman name? Coliseum? Yeah. It was yeah. That, that that was a fun show. And then we've been doing Angels for like about a year now, and she's been going crazy. Wait, so I've known you longer than you've known Joj? I yeah. just I just realized that. Yeah, that's I was, crazy. I was like seventeen. Yeah, I I met this fool. So this is like some crazy shit. I was with Kyle and Jordan and I forgot where Han. No, Jordan's friend. Okay, I forgot what her name is. I don't know either. But Brittany, <laughs> Brittany, <laughs> Brittany, oh, sorry, Brittany, yeah, Sh- shout Brittany. Um, we we went to the show, and this is like when I first started getting tattoos, and I got a him at a t- him tattoo. Other way, my bad. Had a him tattoo, uh-huh. and I was going to get water or some shit, and he just like came up to me and was like complimenting my tattoo, and then I you found me on Twitter or did no, I find I, you? I think I asked for your Instagram. Oh, Instagram, yeah, it, yeah Instagram. Shout out to Graham. And then he started making music, and that shit is hard as fuck. Thank you, bro. Thank. That shit is hard as fuck. Like not even just because we're friends. Like that shit is hard. I've been I've been uh been listening to y'all here like uh the last since I saw y'all at um at our show that we that that we threw a couple months ago was it the As a Soldier show yeah and I've just been like listening to y'all shit on SoundCloud and I was like damn this shit this shit fire as fuck um so going back to uh what I was gonna ask uh so like what what made y'all like start like wanting to make music and also make music together because like were y'all like solo artists obviously like like and then y'all started collabing. Or like, how, how did that work? Um, so me and Wasabi did it from day one together. Hell yeah! And then Joe's. Um, well, I got into it because um, you know Asphat. Mm-hmm. Uh, that's my homie since like first grade. And I wait, saw really? Him. Yeah. Oh, he's shit. Like, wait, so he's from y'all city? Yeah, he's from yeah, yeah. For some reason, I didn't think he was from Texas. I don't know why. No, I, yeah. I, I thought he was from like California or some shit. But yeah, shout out Asphat. I saw him doing it, and I was like, I'm gonna look. You want to try? So. And that's where I found these guys. Around when was that? Um, I would say like sophomore, no, junior, senior year of high school. Like what year though? Like if I graduated twenty nineteen, so, so like, like twenty eighteen. Twenty eighteen. Damn. Twenty eighteen. So who were your influences going into it at that time? Um, honestly, like at the very beginning. 
It's going to sound cliche like everybody else, but it's Lil Peep. <laughs> no, I mean, I feel like he has... valid, though. But yeah, because yeah. he has that variety to where you can draw influence from everything. Like, he has, like, rap rap shit, and then he had, like, the emo shit, and he had, like, the ambient experimental shit with Meeting by Chance. Like, I feel like he had enough variety for someone to get inspired by something he did. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Even if it wasn't musically, like, the way he dressed, like, his tattoos. Like, yeah. there's... He's, he's inspirational as fuck still, in my opinion. He's, like, our generation's, like... As corny as it is, Kurt Cobain. Like no, everyone know. draws some kind of influence from him. Him and Chief Keef are like the most yeah. influential Hell yeah. people. What about you, Wasabi? Well, when did when did you start? I'm gonna ask you like a three parter. Like when did you start making music, and um, who were your influences as well? Um, honestly, like 2018 or so. No, like, like 2017. Very late 2017. Hell yeah. And honestly, it was really Lil Peep that started it all for me. I just. Uh, I was very inspired by bro, like you know what I mean. He was just yeah. making his own moves, like going crazy, and, and it, his his like uprising was just so like like you're seeing it in real time, like yeah, it was insane. fucking beautiful. Like, yeah, it, yeah, it's yeah, that, that's crazy to think about because like literally you and were the people who fucking got him to make a new Twitter. Yeah, like without y'all two, he wouldn't have made a new Twitter. Yeah, that's crazy. Like that's, that's crazy to think crazy. about. I'm, but dude. we we legit saw him when he had a hundred followers, bro. Like it, it's so it was so crazy seeing like it just like rise like i'd be like checking that shit like thousand followers like in a day like type shit i was like what yeah his his climb was fucking insane like i remember he uh, this was like right before like right right before hellboy dropped i guess he was trying to make rent or something he was doing like 200 hundred dollar opens like i still remember him doing that i'm like i remember that imagine how much those are worth now he's on so many features bro yeah (laughs) you can tell like people would like pay that paid like not that much money back then for that well, shit. So yeah. I'm in a Discord for like leaks uh-huh. and shit, and there's like a three gigabyte Pete file that's like a couple hundred dollars already. It's good over here a little bit. Like towards you? Yeah. My bad. Um, that's like a couple hundred dollars already. Oh, damn. That's like, wild. So I feel like those opens like from back then, like those throwaways, I feel like they could catch a pretty penny now. Yeah. No, facts. Um, so talking about Lil Peep, um, SoundCloud, I, I think it's like such a crazy like platform it's like it's dead as a social media and um i want to know like how long have y'all been using like soundcloud like because y'all were obviously listeners of music before y'all yeah. made music so yeah. uh so like i want to know about y'all soundcloud experiences like who you were listening to like probably like 2014 or 2015 Shit. like before y'all even making music like what artists like were sticking out to you like on that on that platform do you remember young cloud mm-hmm. super random honestly yeah. for me i downloaded soundcloud like when i was 14 uh-huh and it was like Chance the Rapper, like Acid Rap. No, that's real. Yeah. <laughs> that, that, that's true. That's the only reason why I, like, I downloaded it. And then I started listening to like Denzel. Oh, yeah. But like, I would say Acid Rap, Loki, why? I say I'm still on SoundCloud. The same account that I still use is the same one from back then. Yeah, me too. It's just crazy. I did you ever scroll down to your very first like. Yeah. Bro, I like, I, it's cursed. It is. It's cursed. It's, it's like Young Lean and like Acid fucking rap. and. Yeah, a lot of, a lot of Young Lean. Hell yeah. What about you, Judge? Young Lean, man. I, I, in middle school, that's when, um, that's when I found Unknown Death for, by Young Lean. Hell yeah. And so I was just listening to that shit. I didn't even know Blade or any of those guys yet. I don't even know. You found Young Lean first too, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it goes. Uh, yeah. Honestly, cringe. I didn't really tap into any of people any other people in the scene until like I started in 2017 Mm -hmm. so I got SoundCloud late 2017 also but I was listening to like Travis Scott and Drake and everybody back then on SoundCloud no 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 actually you know what on SoundCloud let's see no, nah, yeah, low key. When I first downloaded SoundCloud in 2017, I was still listening to yeah, Drake Travis. Yeah, Travis had some had some crazy. No, nah, yeah. Bro, Travis got with the dollar yeah. sign, bro. Tra- yeah. Tra- tra- okay, Travis. Fuck yeah. Before no, including Rodeo, but anything Rodeo and before yeah. is so good. Days before the Rodeo. Yeah. The Days before, crazy. yeah. I was listening to that shit on Al SoundCloud Ferro. too. Oh man. Yeah, Alfred was good. Like, there's an era where like he was untouchable. Like he no, untouchable. no misses, bro. It was crazy. Oh god. Rent was due. Like. <laughs> I don't know. Do you do you believe the shit that he really wasn't producing all those beats though? I've heard about that. Yeah, like he apparently was like lying and he stole all the beats from people. I mean, maybe he was like in the room when someone was making them. <laughs> he had some influence, I guess. Well, but he like, got like Yeezus prod credits and shit. He was like stealing beats. Yeah, like, apparently he was like, like stealing Forza? like yeah. Damn. We've all stole beats before, guys. Come on. <laughs> yeah, come uh, on. Come on. Super guilty over here. Pay bro. your producers, guys. Super yeah, pay good. your producers. Yeah. Um. So. Other other influences besides, uh, 
because like whenever I listen to y'all's music, like I get like a whole bunch of different uh, like y'all sound like y'all's own, but also I could st- I could tell like influences and stuff. I get uh, like okay, let's, hold on, <laughs> my bad, I'm fried. Okay, so whenever people listen to y'all's music, who do they say they all sound like, and if that makes you mad or not? Do y- do y'all get anybody that like that says y'all sound like somebody? Just recently, someone said I sound like Joey. I don't fucking hear it. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't hear, I don't hear it at all. I don't fucking hear it. Either. But I've been said Black Cray. But Loki, I took that as a compliment. Hell yeah. Big inspiration. Yeah. But yeah, it's shit like that. That's that's my inspiration. Like like the old Black Cray shit. Just, Dude, he's a goat for real. Oh my God. He's coming awesome. I'm so excited. But we go into that. Hell yeah. I'm, I'm, I want to get an interview so bad. We, like, we, if you see this, please. We deep in there. <laughs> no, for real. Um, did y'all ever use Young Cloud? Nah. So, uh, do y'all know what that is? Nah. Marcy Man from Goth Money made like a SoundCloud clone. It was called Young Cloud. Damn, I don't know. But like, that. it wasn't on the App Store. Like, you had to like download it off of Safari, and you added it to your home screen through Safari. It was like the weirdest fucking Damn. thing. It was but so dude, weird. there's so many like rare Goth Money songs that are like lost to time because it's like lost media now that Damn. I can't I can't find them. The wife's not. The I can't. Not up. There's a there's a song that was produced by it was it, it was Ned Arb and I think. Either Forza or Filthy. It was a working on dying ex Nedar beat. And, and it was Marcy Main. It was MFK Marcy Main, Lofty 305, and someone else on it. And, Crazy. I, and I can't find that song. It, it's just gone. That yeah. sounds, it, like, like, it feels like a fever dream. Lofty and Marcy, that sounds it, it feels like a fever dream. Yeah, yeah, Young Cloud was crazy. It was like, because like, I think there was beef. I think they said sh- uh, SoundCloud was shutting down or something. Yeah. Because like they weren't making any fucking money. The, the fact that SoundCloud is still alive right now is in- is they're crazy. Trying to to sell. I don't know how they are. They're trying, no, to, bro, they're trying, for to, real. They're trying to sell. It's, they, for, it's for sale. I think like because like part of it is we're getting the features that we've asked for for ten years on that bitch. Like you can act. It I can't can't believe it took this long for them to like put a DM feature on there. Dude, yes. Like on that God, Apple app. Bro. Like that shit would drive me insane. I have to wait to go home and get on my computer to message <laughs> someone back. Like what? That's like so crazy. Like we yeah. live in a crazy technology age and you couldn't do that. I think like it's Mr. It's missed its mark now. Like I feel like Definitely. It sucks that like it used to be such a hub for like underground artists and stuff like that. And I and it still is to an extent, but I don't know. I feel like it's dying. Like it's it sucks. It's sad to see. Yeah, and it's for sale. So I mean, if someone shitty buys it, like, it, yeah, it's done for real. Uh, Keep that shit away from Elon. Not for real though. <laughs> what up the hell, Richie? <laughs> <laughs> but um, honestly, I feel like there's a high likelihood, like in the next like four or five years, it won't be a thing. Like it's gonna be fully streaming, like like paid streaming services. Yeah. Like I don't see it going in a positive trajectory anytime soon. I honestly don't fuck with SoundCloud anymore. It's like not my yeah. yeah. Like, you know, Spotify is where it's at, man. That's well, it's just like in the algorithm, so fried now. Yeah, bro. It's, it's so fried. Like the related tracks on shit, so fried. Yeah. Like that's how I discovered hella people's like through like related tracks and shit. It's shit's a scroll thing now. Yeah, I'll yeah, peep that. Yeah, it just yeah, sucks. Just, the UI is horrible too. Yeah. <laughs> We're twenty minutes just clowning sound. <laughs> 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 fuck. But um. Shout out SoundCloud, so how'd y'all all three come together though? Like under like one group. Talk to this man right here. Because there's also Fohi, yeah, Sam. Shout out Fohi. We three out of five angels right now. Yes. Yeah, so. Shout out Fohi. So it's y'all. It's y'all three. Fohi and Sam, right? Yeah. yeah at first, so, when so. when we first made Angels from the South, well, I, I made Angels from the South, and um, it didn't have Wasabi yet because I hadn't met him. Uh-huh. It was just me, Crips, um, Sam, and Fohi. Wait, how'd y'all yeah. meet Sam? I um, totally through crypto. Yeah. I miss him. My bad. I miss Sam. <laughs> <laughs> My bad. Stem off. <laughs> it, was, it was like some local show. Okay. And like I met him, and he was high off shrooms. So he's also from San Antonio. Yeah, he's from he's okay. from San Antonio too. But he's high off shrooms. I had no idea. And like we connected, we bonded so well. It was like so beautiful. That's funny. <laughs> shout, 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 shout out Sam. Shout out shrooms. <laughs> so, oh so whenever before y'all were angels, like before Wasabi was in it, were y'all already like kicking it in person though? Um, no, I know, it was like our first time and we made a song called Angels from the South and I was just like, why not just like make it a group, Angels from the South and that's and where it came Was from. it your decision to coin yeah. that? Yeah. That's fire. So whenever y'all were like, like, was it just like y'all knew it was just going to be bros only or did y'all like actively were like, no. hey, like Fohi's cool, like let's add him or was it like, how, how like Fohi come to the mix? Cause he's not from San Shout out Fohi. 
Shout out Foey. Shout out Foey. Um, I was think like he was in the Discord with yeah. us. Like he, like, can I just put bro on? So I was like, so y'all just like happen to like, yeah, yeah. Just like just do mutuals type yeah, shit. Foey, Foey is my like OG too. Like on the internet shit. That's what's up. So whenever, so at first it was just y'all three, and then y'all coined it as Angels from the South, or was it y'all and Sam? Um, um at that point, like whenever y'all actually were like, all right, this is a thing, like a group now, and we're gonna move as a group. Like um up. after after Wasabi joined, then that's when we like started pushing, started pushing it harder. Hell yeah. Like how, so y'all made it like hella collab songs together at this point. Uh so like what 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 was the first collab song that y'all have all like been on and like y'all y'all thought like oh shit, like we're like actually a group. This shit's crazy. Um it's in the B and B, bro. The fucking one B and B that we got. Which one? Um one it was like green? When? Was it after during the after the Drain Gang show? I think so, bro. Cause yeah. it, like you invited Fohi and then I oh yeah, yeah. For the oh, first yeah. time in person, I think. Yeah, right. Yeah, they, like they put me onto a song with uh, Troiner. Shout out Troiner. Shout bro. out Troiner, bro. I had I like knew about Troiner, but I never really hopped on his beats before. Fucking great producer. Oh god. Oh, god. And so they like they like was doing all that shit. They was making it, and they were like, "Bro, hop on this." I was like, "Fuck, bro." I was like, "Bet I'll do something crazy." Ended up just fucking clicking, you know what I mean? Oh yeah, and y'all, y'all, y'all. I feel like y'all's work ethic together is like so like effortless too, because like y'all are homies too, and also, like, all y'all y'all sound like similar and different at the same time. Like I can tell y'all apart, and like the fact that y'all just like flow so to, like so well on a song together is, is sick. It's like it's hard to come by these days too, because like you, you ever listen just to a song like this? I'm not throwing shade or anybody or anybody or anything, but like there's like song with, like four people on it, and they all just like don't you can tell they don't like blend, blend well like or they made it like across the country yeah like yeah everyone has its own different mix i'm like dude this is not cool yeah so that's something i wanted to cover on so i was talking to kyle about this because y'all's mixing and mastering is fucking insane thank you like yeah, es- especially for people who aren't like audio like super in the audio itself like you know what i mean like yeah. go to school for and shit like that y'all y'all's mixing and mastering super clean my brother goes to school for audio and he thinks y'all's mixing and mastering is very very clean so it doesn't you. pierce my ears like like most <laughs> yeah see that's what i'm saying like it's very like easy to like digest and it's yeah. like something like like there's certain mixes like it like i have to be in the mood to listen to it yeah. like y'all's music like it'll come on my shelf and it's like easy to listen to to where I can like even if I'm, it's not my favorite song by y'all I'll still let it play yeah. Yeah. like y'all know like y'all know I have my specific songs that yeah. I really really fuck with by y'all but I also have like 15 of y'all songs in my life so whenever they come on the shuffle like like I'm gonna still let them ride because it's so like it's not like destroying my sound system yeah. or my ears <laughs> Yeah, like facts. so who mainly mi- y'all all like mixed for each other or how does uh-huh. that work because like y'all all have like a very similar clean sound so bro it took us years to get here honestly yeah oh, yeah i bet and it's all uh, self-taught so y'all were like just bouncing off of each other or yeah. y'all like have like I, a- I learned a lot from wasabi and then yeah shit we just been doing it like by ourselves like fucking around on FL, yeah. all stock too, but not anymore. But back then it was all stock. Yeah, we were using stock. Yeah, yeah bro. It's Damn. Crazy. What were you using for auto tune then? Um, on terrace. I used to use oh. pitchers. Pitcher. Fuck. Oh, I remember the pitcher, pitcher. days, bro. The pitcher. Days. Fuck, like fuck that. pitcher though. That shit's not good. That shit sucks. I had to get on terrace, but <laughs> yeah, on yeah, Ontar- is the shit, man. They, they've, I've been using that shit for almost ten years, bro. That on terrace is the truth. Like, evil, evil is the best one. Evil is the best one. Which one's that? The, the the gray one, the old one. Oh, I think I think that's the one I was using because I was using FL eleven for like my entire career. I I just got twelve like two years ago. Damn, you're not on twenty one. Fuck no. <laughs> Damn. Fuck no, bro. I can't. I mean, I would have to buy it, but yeah, because I buy all of my stuff, guys. <laughs> Pirating's no no. Pirating's not good. Pirating's cool. But um. So yeah, like I was touching on the group, like on um, y'all are, y'all are like y'all make music like phenomenal together, and um, so I want to talk about the live the live show aspect. Um, so how many shows have y'all done together as Angels from the South? Uh, I'd say like uh, ten, yeah, low key, t- ten, twelve, maybe. Hell yeah! So so on y'all's first show as a group, like how how did that feel? I want I want to hear all y'all's perspectives on that. So I remember it. It was at this like like. War- small ass like venue but it was so cool um we we performed and it was like my one of my first shows like coming back like since covid too uh-huh and it just worked 
they fucking turned up for us. It felt right. Yeah. Was that 800 Live? Yeah, 800 Live. Yeah. What what show is it? Was it a local show? We got opening for. It was, a, it was a local show. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice. Nice. What about you, Joe? Your first show experience. Um, I mean, I was just nervous, <laughs> like <laughs> right. anybody else, right? Mm-hmm. You know, but. Yeah, I kind of, I mean, after the first song, it's like kind of flows better. But like after the, f- after, yeah, but before, it's like, get a little shaky. Do y'all have like a pre-show ritual that y'all have to do like to like get the nerves out? Or do y'all have like something like that like keeps y'all from like bugging out over stress before or anxiety over performance? Honestly, we're always C- cause stressing. Y- <laughs> cause, cause, always stressing? Yeah. Yeah, there's yeah. nothing. So like, um, as far as that, because I remember at the show that, uh, that I saw y'all that y'all had the auto tune pedal. Yeah. Um, have y'all always had that, or is that like a recent addition to y'all's like like gear setup? Um, I got it like about last year. We for like for angel shows, we've been using it pretty much the entire time. Mm-hmm. But since since then, like nah. But the auto tune pedal is insane. So how, how does that like how does that work? I've always like I've always wanted to get one, but like I. I'm like so like not tech savvy, especially with like live equipment. I'm, I I suck so bad at that. It works like a guitar. Yeah, pedal. it's just like a guitar pedal. You you turn it on and you and can you change the keys. Change the key. Yeah. Okay. Um. You think that amplifies y'all y'all's live experience? It makes it so much different. Yeah. It ma- it makes it, I feel like it makes it stand out more. Most definitely, cause like, I mean, I'm sure y'all are like y'all have like good tone and pitch, obviously, cause like y- people people always have this like like preconceived notion that like if you're using autotune that you can't like sing or yeah. hit any notes like it, it just it just helps you like yeah. it's not like and so like the fact that y'all can do that live is cool because i've performed shows without autotune it's not fun at i all. feel like it also helps like with like your Im- like aesthetic that you're yeah. like you're part perform- of the art your performance yeah. aesthetic Definitely. exactly exactly because if you're if you're just performing like just like raw vocals like it, it's gonna sound good but like the amplify the amp it amplifies y'all's vocals in the whole experience yeah um what was y'all's biggest show that y'all done the one with y'all. Oh, for real? Really? Oh, fuck yeah. yeah. Well, acid and Christ. Uh, Bro, yeah. Y'all, y'all, y'all fucking up. killed it. <laughs> Footage here. Uh, I fucking, yeah, I, I was like very blown away. I was, that was my first time seeing y'all live, I think. And I was, you were killing it. I remember there was a part, um, I think it was Elevate. Elevated? Bro, you were going crazy. You're like, <gasps> I was like, damn. <laughs> he was feeling it. <laughs> That shit was crazy. That's Thank what you. I'm saying. And like, I'm I'm one of those people. Like, whenever I'm con- like considering people who I want to be on the show, I don't take into consideration just the fact that we're friends. Like, I went to go see y'all with Kyle and Ivy, yeah. and there was probably like ten people in that crowd, but y'all turned up like there was fucking two hundred. That's what I'm, and that's what made me be like, boom, like I need y'all, like I need y'all for the show, cause like y'all like had like that energy as if there was already like a sold out show. Like, and that's how that's how you should be performing too. Like even like because I I performed like shitty shows with like ten people in the audience. Like and like I still you still got to show out and you still got to perform. Like because maybe who knows that ten those ten people could follow y'all on Instagram or something and then tell their friends like oh I just found these sick ass people. You know what I mean? So like you have to like perform no matter who is there in the crowd. Like whether it be five people or five hundred people. Um, and I, it's cool that y'all do that because. Uh, cause y'all have y'all played a show with like not a lot of people before too. We've done one for like f- five people. Fuck. Like, yeah. I mean, the job. It, it is what it is. It, yeah. I mean, that's part. That's part of it. Like climbing the ranks and shit. You know what I mean? You got to start somewhere, and like it's it's cool as fuck to see that y'all like y'all just like y'all are on y'all's grind, bro. I can I can tell y'all y'all be making a fuck with the music, Thanks and like I don't I don't know how y'all do that. I can't do that. like it's crazy. But um, so like what talk about the recording process? Like like. How long does it take you to make a song? And um, like, I guess it's like, it depends on the mood, right? But like, how long does it take y'all to like make it like a, a song? Me? You. <laughs> <laughs> you. Um, usually, if I already have a beat or if I have to make the beat um, like 30 minutes to an hour, mm-hmm. um, I've been recently mixing my vocals from scratch, um, just like starting off with the basic ah. stuff and then tweaking it to my liking um but sometimes i'll put it off for a day or two just to refresh like your the ears sound. yeah, yeah the ears. <laughs> and then if i like it then maybe i'll drop it <laughs> oh you produce it you produce too yeah yeah, Dude, oh, yeah. he has an unreleased song 
I'm not sure if he wants to go into detail about it just yet, so I'm not going to put him on the spot to do so. But he has an unreleased song with someone, and it's fucking good. It's it's self prod. It? It's yeah. self prod. And it, that shit is fire. Soon. Very exciting. Very yeah, soon. Yeah. Hashtag soon. Hashtag soon. Yeah, yeah, very soon. New JoJo OTW. What about what about y'all's um, recording process? Like, how long does, does it take usually for y'all to make? Do y'all record together a lot or no? Uh, so, whenever we hang out, yeah. Yeah. It's like almost every time we link up, we just fucking record. Yeah. making shit. Yeah. I remember. Um, I remember like because you brought up the Airbnb, like y'all were all like in a group just like making. <laughs> yeah. I know exactly what that feels like, and like the energy in the room is just like crazy, bro. Like, oh, yeah. like just like being creative as fuck. Like, it's like feeding off of each other. Yeah, yeah, that shit's that shit's a good experience, man. Like that's why making music, like with with people or with the group, like obviously you have to have that chemistry, but it like brings you together. Yeah, that shit's it shit's tight, man. Like I I, I could tell that y'all like actually like fuck with each other because there's people in groups that like. Like Loki don't like each other. <laughs> like they, like, the sound, the SoundCloud, the music scene is, is fucked up. Everyone knows this. Like it, yeah, it's hella toxic. Like shit's high school. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's high, high school, school all over. Grown ass men, bro. It's oh, crazy. God. And I'm, I'm glad that y'all are, y'all are like, all just homies, bro. I love, I love seeing people like make music that are genuine people, and I, I see that in y'all. Um, so as far as uh, goals wise, like what, what do y'all, what do y'all, where do y'all see Angels from the South going? Around the world, I don't know. Rolling loud. Rolling yeah, loud. Yeah, yeah. Rolling that's a goal. Loud. That's one of our goals. That's like, oh, yeah. that's like the craziest goal we have to we have to get to right now. Cool. I'm I'm glad y'all are like the people because like we asked some people like well, what are y'all's goals? I'm like oh shit, I don't even I haven't thought about that. <laughs> but like it's cool that y'all that y'all have that goals goal set like that. Um, are y'all trying to like do like touring like world tours like? Texas tour, tour that'd be crazy. Day. We but. trying to do like a Europe tour, that'd be crazy. Yeah, uh, Texas tour though. Soon. Texas tour soon. Oh, for real? Okay. Hopefully, yeah. hopefully. Run it. That's fire as fuck. So like, what in a dream? Like, so say like your dream like place to perform at. Like, where would that be at? Ooh, anywhere in the world. That's a good question. That is a good one. Damn, Europe. But where? Like, but where? Uh, <laughs> my fucking. Uh, let's see. Where's Rip from? Bristol. Bristol. Bristol, UK. Yeah. yeah. We got we got a lot of homies there. Oh God. That's that's the good thing about the internet. You can just meet anybody from anywhere and like ha- I have like a whole bunch of people in Australia that I that I fuck with. Like, damn, like the internet's wild, bro. Like I, I try to like picture like the seventies or something like that, like, pre internet. And I'm like, how the fuck is people meeting each other? But like, like, how are uh, blues magi- blues musicians getting it in? Like in the 30s and in shit. The thir- like, like how the fuck were they oh doing collabs and shit? <laughs> yeah, bro, that, that's a, such a crazy thing to think about. Like, I don't know, that shit <laughs> fucks my head up sometimes. Wait, what did I ask y'all again? Oh yeah, <laughs> oh dream place to tour. My yeah. bad. Or right, like, to perform at. Uh, I would say like New York City. Yeah. New York City. Oh my God. Have y'all been there? Oh, uh, yeah. just recently, yeah. Oh really? All of y'all? Yeah, oh, we went shit. together. It was cool. Damn, I ain't never been to that. We went to that Restless Fest. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. It's a crazy environment, I'll tell you that. Is bro. it? It's a crazy environment. Yeah, uh, I was telling them, like, how they are with New York. It's like how we are with LA. Like, they really, lo- like, how we used to, like... <laughs> we have some horror stories in, in LA. <laughs> <laughs> it's just crazy. Man. Damn, I've never been to New York. Like, is it, like, as intimidating as it looks, like, on, like, like movies and shit? Like, all the cars and the I feel like once you get... Shit? It has to be like one of those things like once you get deep, like you have to get used to it, right? Once you yeah, get off the low-key. plane, it's like that. Yeah. And once you get off the train and shit, like into the city. But y'all was once, riding metros. Yeah. We got lost nice. a little bit. Bro, we, <laughs> we the got metro lost stations are crazy. Were y'all bro. staying in the city? Uh, um, yeah, we stayed Brooklyn? in like Coney, Coney Island. Yeah. Bro- oh, Brooklyn. Shit. It was, fuck. It was fire, yeah. That sounds overwhelming as fuck. Uh, uh, How far was, was cool. the train from there to the show? That was probably was like, like an hour. Yeah, that was bro. a little yeah. stretch, right? It was an hour. Fuck. Are y'all performed there? No, we nah. just walked, we just oh. went. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, that that was the show that t- like 10K like Oh yeah. Yeah, <laughs> 10K fucking raged at. Man. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Shout out 10K. Yeah, shout, shout out 10K. 10K. <laughs> I fucking love 10K, bro. <laughs> He's so fire. Yeah. Um, so talking about uh dream collabs i, w- I want to hear like who who's y'all's like i want to get to this level so i can collab with this but person. hold on can i like add sure off of that? i'll just play go ahead i want to hear like like y'all's like all time and like now like modern like yeah. like but, but. yeah let's do that let's do that my all time's cray or wick of face but Based. right now i would say like little shine Dude, <laughs> no, that's real. I fucking love, 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 love Lil Sean. Hell yeah. Me. 
Um, my all time is probably gonna be Blade. Really? And then right now, right now, right now I'm working with everybody I like. So I mean, really? so fuck everybody. <laughs> no, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, all time would probably be like. Echo, Blade, all the Drain Gang, you know. Yeah, yeah. I feel like you and Echo would make a really pretty song. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It would be amazing, honestly. Real angelic. I could feel the chemistry already. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. Features for right now. Pretty much what bro said. I'm working with everybody I love right now. Shout out everybody though. That's real. Oh yeah. Shout out Low Shine. I remember um, Shallow Shine Going off on a little tangent here I remember I found your music Before I even knew That you were even around here My algorithm on Spotify Fed me like One of your songs Yeah Uh, Fuck What was the song It's your most played one Elevated me No you need You need me Oh my god yeah. bro. I love that song bro Yeah that I, I heard it on my uh On my One of my daily mixes Yeah that's So that, that It's it's weird how like that works Because I didn't even know That you were like From the area or anything Yeah And that was like Months before uh, Zach even told me About Angels from the South Yeah And I really hope That Spotify is like They grow And like continue to push Like artists like that You know what I mean Because yeah. like I, Every time I get on a daily mix It's always like Shit I already like I'm like what <laughs> Like I'm trying to find shit You know what I mean But like yeah. it's cool try, that if, try the radio on on there, like a song, like choose like a song you really like, uh-huh. and then do the song. Oh, radio. and then and then click the ra- yeah. Okay, gotcha. That that shit'll put you on, like, cause it's random as fuck. Yeah, like it'll be like people like twenty nine monthly listeners type shit too. Oh, that's it, hard. It, that's what I'm saying. It, like I do that sometimes. Like, but I'm sometimes to- it's some people that fucking suck. <laughs> <laughs> like like have y'all heard the the Spotify version of Mud Brothers by Summers? Bro, I fucking hate it, bro. <laughs> have you heard it? Uh uh-uh. uh. So dude made it like an open and added his verse. And <laughs> he added his. So no, it sounds like it's recorded on the Xbox mic. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny as fuck. All right, so we're at the part of the podcast where I want to get into like, like your upbringing, like growing up and stuff like that. So, like, what were y'all listening to, like, growing up, like as as a kid, like what your parents were playing, like young, young, young. Uh, when I was younger, I didn't know what the fuck I was listening to. It was just whatever was on the radio. Yeah, <laughs> or like my parents would play the Mexican music all the time. So. Was um, it like Mexican oldies or like modern Mexican music? It's like probably a bit of both. Or not? Um, well, this was back then, so it's like technically. Oh, okay, now it's yeah. considered at least. So you're 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 brought up around around music like that, pretty much. Yeah, and then my my uncle, um, he has he always had this his Mustang, and it always had like subwoofers, and he would play like, um, who who made who made that song? Gotta stay fly. Or high. Oh, three six miles. Three six miles. He'd always put that shit. Banging in the Mustang. That's crazy. Yeah, that's, I that's was a like, good hell song. yeah. And I love the way the bass feels and shit. So that song reminds me of Madden. That's why I love the. <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, that's what's up. Um, honestly, my grandparents would play like Los Plebes or like anything cumbia. Yeah. Fucking, <laughs> fucking cumbia kings, Prince Royce, Shout cumbia kings. Like that. <laughs> bro. Tight. And then my dad would play like fucking Tyler the Creator, low key. Bro, bro really? he shout out Father on. Wasabi. He's based as hell. Bro, sh- <laughs> shout out <yeah. laughs> shout <laughs> Father Wasabi. Shout out Father Wasabi. He always bro. pops up on my Instagram. Oh, shout out Father Wasabi. He's goaded. <laughs> bro, tight. he's tapped in, bro. Yeah. Shout out him. He was playing Tyler the Creator? Bro. Yeah, bro. He would play him, and then I like recently told him about it, and he was like, I don't even know who that is. I'm like, bro, <laughs> I'm like, bro, what you mean? Bro, must have had it on shuffle or D- something. Dude, he was putting me on. His dad's cool as fuck. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah. Shout out him. Come on the pod. <laughs> <laughs> next time next time <laughs> so Tyler Crater and Kumbia Kings that's a crazy combo <laughs> <laughs> that shit's really? fire what about you Crypto so I'll say like the same thing like Kumbia Kings uh, Los Tigres and Notre Dame oh hell um, yeah Mike Jones yeah God damn. <laughs> shout out Mike Jones damn, Coldplay yeah. too my brother put me on to Coldplay dude oh uh, fuck Col- Coldplay is like comfort music, yeah. dude. I love Coldplay. It like reminds me of being like a little baby. It like makes my brain just like turn off for a second. <laughs> like it's like such easy listening. That song Clocks, it's not dog, dude. Bro, yeah. Clocks is beautiful, dude. That's a good Max. song. So, so you had you had Coldplay, you had Los Tigres, and you had fucking what was the first? Oh, Mike Jones? Mike Jones, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that, that's a good mix. That is yeah. a fantastic mix. So as far okay, so we got the music part out of the way. So what what like what was like y'all's favorite like TV shows and movies like growing up? Like I need to hear like what y'all was. What y'all were like obsessed with like watching like on the rig? Dragon Ball Z. R.I.P. R.I.P. Bro. 
Dude, right, the Mexican community is in shambles right now. Have, <laughs> have y'all heard what's been going on with the cartels? I heard about that. Loki, dude, yeah. they're ceasing. They're like dead ass ceasing fire over this. Are you stop, I, I, bro? I'm I'm not joking. <laughs> I didn't even know they were tapped in like. That, I didn't bro. know either. I didn't. Yeah. Know. Their crime rate drops whenever. Yeah, their crime rate drops. drops. It's been it's been the lowest it's been in a couple of months. These last couple of days, they're Damn. going through it, bro. Maybe like maybe we don't have to kill people today, <laughs> dude. Someone I saw someone on Twitter. They they got Jesus holding Goku with like a sunset on their back. <laughs> <laughs> bro, that's hard. <laughs> that shit was I so fire. That. I saw that shit. It's so crazy how it's like. Like Dragon Ball Z is considered like a Mexican show, bro. Like that shit bro, crazy. Cause I, had no I, idea. I grew up watching that shit too. Dragon Ball Z, I feel like that shit got all kids of color into anime. Like, oh God. like everyone that was like in the trenches were watching. That shit Dragon. goes hard, bro. Like what? That shit brought it, everybody cool. together, bro. Not for real. Like so, you said Dragon Ball Z. You're, you just grew up watching the hell of Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z, Bleach, fucking Yu Yu Hakusho. You know, Damn. bunch of anime, bro. Like they would have it on CW thirty five. Dude, bro. Oh, dude. I fucking that. bro. Yu Gi Oh, bro. Yes. Sonic, bro. Oh my that, god, bro. That, the, I missed that shit. Saturday mornings, bro. Fuck dude, yeah, Sonic bro. eggs. Sonic oh man, I know exactly. God. I didn't have cable growing up, so I know exactly what the fuck I was. Talking Shout about. out CW for real. On oh, God, bro. That shit was mainly everything. And we really had like Friday Night Smackdown on there too. And then like I would go to sleep. I would watch Friday Night Smackdown, go to sleep, wake up, boom, Saturday cartoons. I was so lit. <laughs> shit was I was so fun, lit bro. about that. What about you, Josh? Um, I'd watch uh, a lot of Chowder. Chowder? Chowder, mm-hmm. Chowder was my favorite <laughs> shit, bro. <laughs> That's not Chowder. Rada, Rada. It's like unironically that I love Chowder. No, nah, dude, Chowder's Chowder sick. goes higher, bro. It's a comfort show. Valid. Yeah. I love, I love the like the art color. Like it's just like yeah, the, it's like so the color. colorful, yeah. and creative. It's awesome. That's what I feel about Flapjack too. I love Flapjack. Oh, Flapjack! Yeah, I yes, love Flapjack. I love Flapjack. The original Wait, Adventure Time. Nah, for real. Yeah. Were you, were you just like hella on the Cartoon Network and shit? Is that yeah, what you, I, I like watching? a lot of the Cartoon Network shows more than any other one. What what is what is like one like Cartoon Network show that you could not stand? Ooh, one that Uncle, Grandpa. Uncle Grandpa. Uncle, 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 Uncle Grandpa. Grandpa. No, Clarence. Wait, you say Clarence? Yeah, I don't, I don't fuck with Clarence. I like Clarence. I like Clarence. I don't fuck with Clarence. I'm sorry. Right. Clarence. I'm hey, sorry, hey, bro. Don't hate me. Recording? <laughs> nah, <it's, laughs> this is nah, done. I don't Shit fuck with done. Clarence, bro. Um. What were we talking about? Oh, Cartoon Network and yeah. shit. Cartoon Network. Okay. Did you even answer yours yet? No. No, he hasn't. No, 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 go ahead. Uh, Billy and Mandy. You're watching Billy and Mandy? Billy and Mandy. Hell yeah. Give me yeah. Give me a fuck yeah, bro. You're, so all y'all were cart- Cartoon Network kids. Yeah. I, f- I fucked with Disney, though. I fucked with Disney. D- what'd you fuck with on Disney? Like That's a Raven. Okay, yeah. <laughs> valid? That's yeah, valid. valid. That's valid. I loved all those live, like, those, like, live Sweet action life. shows. Sweet, Sweet Life. Life was That's a Raven. <laughs> Fucking, uh. Hannah Montana was Hannah Montana was great. Man, we had, we had a good childhood, I'd say, like, as far as, like, Growing up, like show wise, because I see the shit that be on like Disney and Nickelodeon now. I'm like, what the fuck is this? So l- let me ask you this. So do y'all does like any of that kind of stuff play any role in y'all's music? Like, because I know like like Echo My Body, like you know, like you even like use like a picture of you as a little kid, like in the picture. Yeah. Is there like certain like bits and pieces y'all take from like shit like y'all loved growing up that like y'all still like keep as a part of like y'all's like image or play a role in like y'all's music or anything like that, or, like y'all's aesthetic? Mm, I say one big thing is that all angels are Hispanic. We're all Hispanic. What about Max. Selena yeah. Gomez, bro? Selena Gomez plays a big part, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah. I love you, Selena. And then for, real. for me, like Austin and Alley. Have you ever seen Austin? Dude. Bro, they come up with him. That was, that oh, was I've kind never of seen it. It, it, was, I've heard cool, it, it was a Disney show. Oh. Yeah. It's kind of cool. Did, did, like, did you see how Netspin was with? Uh, <laughs> I saw that shit, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> They're related, bro. Are They're you related? Really? No. Oh. <laughs> I'm not going to lie Like they look like They could be totally related I mean they might be They, they, they linked up in LA That's uh, why I forgot what the actor's name is But he's, all, like, he's like a I pop singer uh, too Ross Lynch Ross Yeah Lynch. Ross Lynch Oh shit Damn I But they that. Them white boys be looking All the same dog <laughs> 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 They should have got Nespin on Disney bro yeah, Dude Honestly Still that'd be, can that, that'd Bro's be, like what 15 That'd be an insane cameo <laughs> oh, God. That'd be hilarious What the fuck but what were y'all fucking with on Nickelodeon though? That's the real question. SpongeBob. Um, SpongeBob. Y'all fuck with Invader Zim? That's all I need to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Invader Zim. Invader Jimmy Zim was Neutron fire. was fire. Dude, Jimmy Neutron. I feel like Jimmy Neutron's like underappreciated. Did y'all know yeah. it was a movie before the show? Yeah. I didn't know that. I was like, I, 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 I was. That. It blew my fucking mind. You I thought like, the movie came out after? Yeah, cause like, I mean, it makes sense because it kind of set up the show. Yeah. But like, 
I don't know, bro. It, it fucked my mind up because I remember I was obsessed with the, uh, Jimmy Neutron Boy Genius, the movie. I had it on fucking uh, cassette it, and on, on, a v, on a VHS, and I think it was orange, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. All the Nickelodeon uh, VHS tapes were orange. That shit was yeah. so based, bro. And I remember like being like so obsessed with like the kids in America and all that shit. Like, and then the fact that I it was a movie, like they just took a gamble. Like they're like, fuck it, we're gonna make this movie, and then it turned into a show. And then Planet Sheen. We don't talk about Planet Sheen. <laughs> you fuck Planet Sheen. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that. I'd rather see a Carl Weezer spinoff than Sheen. She would piss me off. Have you ever heard the plug and B Carl Weezer? Yeah. 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 <laughs> oh fuck! fuck I forgot. Bro. Shot Hank. Who who is it? Who? It's um, a one year or one. It, is it one year? Yeah. I think it is. Yeah. It, 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 I swear it, it, to God, it's an already it's popular crazy. SoundCloud person. Damn, it's one year. It, correct me if I'm wrong. It's right here. If it, if it, but I'm pretty sure it's one year. That's how I got into plug and B. Let's go to fucking bro, Power I, Weezer. I still can't believe Mike Frost was in Slay World. I, I, I know I texted you about that the other day. It's just random. That's, that's just random. Wait, who? Mike Frost is this a okay. uh, producer homie that we Shout have. Out Mike, I love um, him. he is in. Sl- he was in Slay well, World. He's, he's been making shit for like 12 years, bro. He, like, yeah, he, he was, was Mike Xanax. Yeah, he was Mike Xanax. I don't know if you heard about him. He was really cool, like session, like. Young Cortex and like all them like way back in the day, and yeah. then he became Mike Frost, and then he was like in Slay World and Hell World. But I didn't know he was in Slay World. I was on Reddit, like just random as fuck, and someone dropped like a hundred gig file, bro. Because he has of, like he has like eight summers placements, more than that. I oh think, really? I think it was like twelve. Yeah. Um. But I was like going through like this like big ass file I found on Reddit, and he had his own file, and I was like, what the fuck? So I did more digging. He had his own file. Like I wasn't gonna like DM him and be bro, like, like to the file cabinets and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have but That's yeah, he, he's in Slay World. That shit tripped me out. Damn. Damn, what was I gonna say? Fuck, I was gonna. R.I.P. Slay World. Yeah, R.I.P. Slay World for real. Nice. Um, so you you had brought up Plug and B, yeah. and shit like that. Like that, I, how how was that influenced in, in y'all's music? Because I think that Plug and B is fucking fantastic. Like. I, that's easy listening to me. Like if it's done right, like that shit. Like I love the way yeah, the beat bro, sounds. Bro, I fucking and all love Cory Lingo. Corey Shout out Cory Lingo. Lingo. I'm number one Cory Lingo stan. I Shout fuck with Cory Lingo. Lingo. So uh, as, as far as far as plug and B influences, like like who who were y'all listening to like plug and B wise? Because I mean I mean the list goes on and on. But. Shit. The way I found plug and B was because of fucking Carl. Carl Weezer. Weezer. I, like, <laughs> I swear. Cool. I'm being dead ass. Dude. <laughs> all the damn shit crazy. That's funny as fuck. And then. I don't know, like the beats are fucking insane. Like I've hit a couple plug beats. They're, they sound so simple, but whenever I it gets down to it, and you're trying to make it, and like, what the fuck am I doing? It's melody based. Like it's, it's beautiful. Lil Lo, yeah. Lo, Lo Shine and Corey Lingo do it so effortlessly. Like Lil Shine's a goat, bro. Yeah, like I feel like them two are the ones that are keeping it alive. Like I don't really fuck with Lazy, but like Lazy kind of doing his thing too. He yeah. like he he slides on bro, some beats. Bro got skinny on us. That shit crazy. Who Lazy? Lazy got fat. What do you mean? He, I haven't seen him in a minute, but oh, really? I, yeah, he got skinny. Did he? He, yeah, was, he yeah. was big, then he got skinny, and maybe he got bigger. I don't know. Maybe the really? fame got him big. <laughs> I, I thought he was. I don't know. I don't listen to him like that, so I don't care. Stop fat shaming. No, my bad. My bad. <laughs> well, so uh, who were you listening to, plug in B wise, once you found Carl Weezer? <laughs> um, Summers, for sure. Like, I remember finding Summers and like. She, motherfucker was hard. You know what He's mean? the pioneer, right? I love like, like he pioneered yeah. that shit. Him and Corey, Lingo. Corey, Lingo. Corey Lingo is the first plug and B artist, artist and producer. producer yeah. yeah. Oh shit. He made the first plug and B song in 2018 with Fredo Santana. Damn. When he, oh, when he was wow. 16 yeah. years old. That's why yeah. I'm, I'm Encyclopedia. Uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a Corey, Corey, Corey Lingo fan. Corey yeah, Lingo. That's a go. Text me back. I want to book you. <laughs> Please. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh so Summers and then who else? Um I remember seeing Little Shine back then. And I'm like, why is this kid rapping? Dude. But hearing him now, it's like, His damn. snippets back then, whenever... Like, Jewel era Lil Shine was different. And then COVID happened, and he joined RCB. <laughs> Fuck. Damn. RP, but, RCB, though. Damn, RCB. RCB. RCB's I, remember, I remember first finding them, too. That was crazy. This shit go hard. So... Would do you, would you do you say that you draw any influence from like that spectrum of music or no? Um, or, or what would you say like like the main like spectrum of music do y'all like draw like influence from like sound wise? Like would y'all say it's mainly like rap or is it other genres of music or? What would um, you say? It's, it's always just been like rap, but like underground shit like internet music. Mm-hmm. It's always been that's what I've always listened to. Mm-hmm. But like, has it ever been like genre specific to where you're um, like? Damn, I'm really trying to make something with an EDM beat, or I'm trying to make something with like this beat or that yeah. beat. That's the beauty about music, bro. You can literally just make whatever the fuck you want, like okay. whatever you're feeling on that type of day. Yeah. For me, it was like shoegaze, and then, bro, shoegaze is fire. I, I love shoegaze. I want to make it so bad, bro. I fuck with rock, bro. Like I grew up on that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Um, rock, rap. 
fucking I like Daft Punk a lot. They're like you, very experimental. Yeah, I like Ghost. Daft Punk. Yeah. What about you, Judge? Um <clears throat> I love the EDM scene, the music. Um I took a lot of like inspiration. I got I got into the EDM music because of Lil U. Um, shout out Lil U you for real. Lil U for president. <laughs> That's uh, he's when I found him, I then found Capo and Oaf and all those. Wait, you guys. found Lil U before Capo? Yeah. And Oaf? That's crazy. I I don't know how it was I found him, but um I heard um it's I forgot what song it is, but it's fire. But that's. Um, do you have a song with Lil U or am I tripping? You no, know, I don't. No, do you have like a beat from him or something? I could have swore like y'all did something or like y'all were fucking with each other on some shit. Um, I think we've interacted before on Instagram. Maybe that's what it was. Cause I remember whenever y'all did y'all y'all been for Rude Club, right? Or my tri- are y'all yeah, just yeah. Yeah. Yeah, shout yeah, yeah. Shout out Rude Club. We went to their sick. show um in Fort Worth. Rude Club was hard, bro. I, I I recently found them honestly. I, I know they've been a thing for a minute, but who who is that? So it was Dash, Cody, Love. Well, he's not in anymore. And then Love Angel. Oh shit. Oh okay. Okay. I'm I'm put on then. I know I know who they are. Yeah. Um. So so you oh EDM. So you got into it by Little You, but who else do you listen to in, like, in that type of scene? Um. Of course, Capo, one of the legends of that scene. Um, Mayhem, uh, not too much. I know Oaf a lot. I like his, I like his music so much. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't even know who else. I like Keyblade. Yeah, Keyblade. And a lot of his bro. Keyblade's been around for guys, so long yeah. too. He, his his production credit list is insane too. Like yeah, he, yeah. He's a go. I fucking love Keyblade. You got something too. Y'all, so, y'all stuff produced for too. Yeah. Oh hell yeah. Whenever y'all went to Chicago to open, um. Oh, yeah. For heist, was it just you? That was just me. It was yeah. me and Synthetic Kids. Oh, it wasn't Dude. an Angel oh, show. No, nah, it wasn't. An, Angels but, wasn't. But a y'all thing went yet. though, no? Nah, they didn't go with. Nah, Angels. I don't think Angels was a thing yet. It, it was, but, but it wasn't like official. Or, it was. This was just for you. But, so, yeah, was that your first out of state show? Yeah, it was. So oh, how, yeah, talk about that. How was that experience? Um, shout out first of all, shout out Synthetic Kids. You know, that's, that's my my day ones. So was know? that your first group that you were in? Nah, no, but it's one of the the main ones. Yeah, for yeah. sure. But we um we had that show. It was with Capo, Heisey, Mayhem, um, Braxton Knight too. Bro, shout Braxton Knight. Yeah, oh. fucking love Braxton Knight. Can't. We we did that show with in Chicago, bro. My first time doing a show out of my city. Was it popping? Um, wait, out of the city? Yeah, out of the city. Yeah. Damn. It, it, it was popping. The thing is, like, the cops. Shut down the venue, the original venue, like the same day. Mm. So we, we had like three hours to find a whole other venue, but we oh, did it. Fuck. But hell, people still pulled up, bro. That's it was, fire. It was crazy. Like it was insane to me. I feel like like performing in a different state, like people just go harder. Like like if they see like, especially when, when people like make a flyer, right? They put like in parentheses like where y'all from, yeah. and like that like that just like sells it. People, they, people want to hear other like people people from other states. It's because shit. they get tired of locals. Yeah, yeah. it shows that you're serious too. Hell yeah. yeah, like oh shit, they're oh they're coming all the way over here. Yeah, like they must gotta get, they go must give them. a fuck. Yeah. Like, yeah, like people people like oh people must want to like see them perform. Then if that's the case, like um, so have y'all have y'all performed as a group like outside of the state yet? The state, nah, but the city, yeah. Are you, what what cities you all performed in? I've done a show in LA by myself. Yeah. Oh really? It was with Five Lifer, if you know Five Lifer. Mm-mm. When was that? This was back in Aprilish, May around there. of last year. No, it was like 2021, okay. 2022 okay. maybe. Twenty twenty two. Yeah, it was pretty cool, honestly. They're mad love, bro. Mad love. Oh, yeah. What about you, Joe? Have you performed outside of the state? Mm mm. No, not yet. No, but we we've done San Antonio. Austin, Houston, and Dallas. Oh hell yeah, the big yeah. bow. Yeah, that's that all was, you. Re- that's all you really need, honestly. Yeah. That was all together. Yeah. We did those. Two. Yeah, we did. Oh hell yeah. Yeah. yeah, fuck yeah. Um, can we talk about like, um, y'all's worst show experience? You don't have to say the venue or anything, but like, as far as like setup wise or like the sound. <laughs> Which one out of many, bro? <laughs> um, Mine and Crips first show, we got robbed. Oh, Wait, yeah. What? We got robbed. Uh, like, very physically robbed? Uh, yeah, our very first show. Um, we were like 15, maybe. <laughs> it was in San Antonio. Uh-huh. Wow. Um, the dude fucking... It wasn't the host. It was another... He said he was like the co-host or some shit. 
He wanted our ticket money. He, like, fucking just drugged us, bro. What the fuck? As soon as he got the money, he left. Yeah. Dip. As soon as he got the money, he fucking... <laughs> he, didn't, he didn't perform. He, he didn't, didn't do anything. He didn't perform either. Like, nope. And then, like, the, the hosts were like, we're finna blacklist you forever. Paper, Out to you? Paper Tiger. Yeah, and we were, we were like... Was paper not, Tiger? Not, it was at Paper Tiger, but it was the, the host wasn't Paper Tiger. It was, oh, like, yeah. some fucking dude from New Jersey. Oh, fuck. But... He was like, we, I'm finna blacklist you. You never finna perform again. And I was like a kid, bro. I was like, damn, bro. No! It's, it's over. <laughs> like, it's Stop over. It. <laughs> but like, I was dude, I was like, damn, it's over for me, bro. Dude, that fucking sucks. How old was the guy? He was like 26. He was, like he was a grown ass man. Yeah, yeah, he was like grown, 26, bro. bro. Bro needed our money that bad. Is, is, is he still like around? Nah. He, nah. he just disappeared? Yeah. I don't even know That's what happens when you steal money from kids, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you ain't shit. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? That is crazy. Yeah. Um, oh, I, I want to bring this up too. Wait, so, hold on. Okay, I'll, I'll I'll hear, I want to hear Jojo's answer because I like hearing sh- shit. Oh, worst show experience. Worst yeah, show experience. So you got this. It, it can uh, be like staff, sound, anything. Wait, so it Crowd. Be like one like either a show that you're performing at, like what's the worst show? You don't have to say like the venue or anything, but like like as far as like setup wise or like like uh, attendance wise, like like which one, <laughs> which one out of many? I mean, the I I really disliked the Houston show that we did. Um, the D, I'm not gonna name any names. Or yeah, you don't have to. Who, but uh, the DJ there um, fucked up our set, and because we had it all auto tune, perfect out and whatnot. They had like the, it was like pitched up. Yeah, they. they just by like two cents. Yeah, the they they, they turned up the BPM to our songs, and so the auto tune was fucky. And then it was like uh it's honestly a poorly promoted show as well. Uh-huh. But what, was it like a local Houston show or uh, opening for someone like No, it was, it was low key in the scene too. Yeah. I, I just don't know why it didn't like, It just didn't work out. Yeah. Damn. Shout out Unpolarizes though. Yeah, we did. Yeah, shout out Unpolarizes. We did that show with Unpolarizes. Uh he's in Princess Mob from New York City. Shout out, shout out him. Oh, okay. Yeah. Hell yeah. I, I know them through Twitter. Yeah. Uh, can I follow Cami? Yeah. Yeah, I know Cami. Yeah, I'll keep it going. Oh, it's still going? Yeah. Okay, cool. But, so, as far as, like, within, like, like, realistic, like, in the United States or in the state even, is there a specific venue or, like, city that y'all want to hit? Like, even if it's just y'all? Like, I haven't done LA yet. You, you haven't done LA I'm yet? I'm down to go back. Yeah. I want to go back so bad. I would want to go to Miami. Really? That, I would love it, to perform it, it, in Miami. Is, too, is, there, is there a specific reason? This I, I wasn't um, expecting that answer. I, I mean, Miami's just dope Florida. as fuck. Um, party, party, party. Yeah, it's a, it's <laughs> a party city. And then I go for the Miami Heat, so it's like even a better thing. Oh, that's your team? Yeah. Interesting interesting choice. I'm into I used to be. Bro, apparently Joe is quite the FIFA FIFA boy. It is true. I I could That caught me off guard. I can claim that I'm the best FIFA player in the scene. I'm I'm (laughs) man. I'm 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 up and coming FIFA player. No, he's up and coming. You you be playing two K two, right? I used to play I used to play a lot. It's too easy for me to so I just stopped playing. Oh for real? He says it's like it's like I'm not even gonna gonna get into this. Funny as fuck, Y'all put money on that shit or what? Not yet, but if I put money on it, I win definitely. That's so, try harder. That's so I, mean. I know Joe's, but are y'all gamers? I know Joe's because me and him be gaming. But so, when I was younger, yeah, I'm yeah, crazy. Like once I hit third grade and I got an Xbox 360, I stopped going outside, bro. Yeah, yeah. That's exactly how I'm I, I, I feel like that was a canon event. Like yeah. you get the 360, <laughs> Left 4 Dead 2 on that Dude. shit. Fuck. Man, Change. don't even get me fucking Beautiful. started. Beautiful. Me, and, me and Zach will literally have a three-hour podcast about this shit. Bro. <laughs> like, like, it's crazy, bro. I I was such, like, we were such, like, big gamers. Like, and it sucks, like, part of growing up, like, you kind of, like, fall out of, like, in touch with it. Like, yeah. I, I, I can't play it. Like, I can't play it like I used Dude, to. playing with someone like Joe, you'll, you'll get on, into it. Bro, <laughs> Joe's fire. That's crazy, bro. Like, I, I fucking... Like, I used to play like eight hours a day at least, bro. bro like, it was we, bad. We used to be playing like 14. Oh, I, did, I just didn't want to say that. <laughs> I didn't want to say we, that. We, we used to be playing Gears of War 3 for like 12, bro. 14 hours a day, Shout bro. out Gears of War 3. Like, Gears of War is the like, best like, game ever made. Like, I was crazy at that shit. Dude, Me too. We were cracked. We would literally just be 1v1ing for like hours upon hours upon hours upon we'd make, hours. We'd make clans and shit. And like, we'd just be That's fucking so like... Far, bro. It, Why, y'all should have recruited me, bro. <laughs> God. I literally got a Gears of War 3 Xbox controller tattooed on me. Like, like that's my... 
That's I want to get game. the I want to get the Cog logo so bad, that, bro. Like I, fuck, dude. That, that game like changed my life. If, that, if like I, if I ever had to compete competitively in something, it'd be Gears of War. Yeah. Like games wise, one thousand percent. Me and Thor were cracked. Like our whole friend group was just cracked. We That's were fun. all insanely cracked. We're just fucking. We're sweats. Mega virgins who just like <laughs> yeah. Y'all do the wall shit. Yeah, yeah, wall bounce. Bro, yeah. We wall, wall bounce like bounce a and motherfucker. And we like knew what characters were more spongy and take more hits. And like we knew. Damn, man, that's fun. we were tapped in, bro. Yeah, don't even get me started. What, what were y'all playing like video game wise growing up? Um, let's see. I had PlayStation. I did, it was not an Xbox. Really? Yeah, I had PlayStation my whole life. So maybe. Let's see, let's see. Let me think about it real quick. Little Big Planet. Like, Call of Duty, <laughs> the world that... Which world that War? Yeah, I played that one. But you, it was like only one player, like low-key. I think you, it was only online. No, 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 I, no. I, I loved World at War. Bro, that one was fire, bro. I remember that shit. Yeah, that, that was that was, that was my, that yeah. my game, too. That, that was like fire. the beginning of COD peaking. Oh, For real. God. Um, 2K, bro. Like You're line. a 2K demon? Bro, I've never played it. I, I like, only played 2K back then, like, whenever I was a little, little kid, you know what I mean? Yeah, I feel but you. That shit was fire. Um, growing up, it was, it just, like, developed to GTA, like, all the GTAs. I love GTA. Everyone got wrapped in eventually. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, bro. The amount of hours I put on that is insane. Oh, God. Uh, fuck, I can't remember the rest of them, but PlayStation, anything PlayStation, bro, I played it. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. I stopped playing in 2020, though. Like, that's whenever I stopped gaming. Dude, that's whenever I, like, got back into Like, I stopped in, like, 2017. And then whenever, like, COVID happened, I was, like, bored as fuck. Yeah. And so I got back into it. I feel like and then I got into it again recently. I got a gaming PC and started playing with Joj. Yeah, what about you, Joj? What, what's, what's, what was your gaming looking like growing up? Um. So, I when I was a kid, I had a Nintendo 64. And I'd play, like, this South Park game on there. The snowball ah. one? The snowball one, yeah. <laughs> And then I had the fun. Chef's Trivia game one, <laughs> That's hard. And then um, I went from a PS2 from there, played some, uh, like, I had a shit ton of games for some reason. And then I got I got a Wii. And then that's when I first started getting into, like, a sh- like shooting, like, because I, I got Call of Duty on there. Bro, COD on the Wii was weird. Was, was <laughs> but I had the controller. No, no. Oh, had you had the, the pro the controller. Oh, controller. gotcha, gotcha. So I was chilling. I was getting killed left and right while everybody's like pointing at their TV. Yeah, and dude. Shit. That shit. Just... <laughs> yeah. I, I, I had like the zapper. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I couldn't use that for shit. I was yeah, just, me I just cheated. <laughs> I was not coordinated with the fuck. We was low-key goaded, bro. That shit, that shit fucked my head up whenever I realized you can like control it with the fucking. Oh, yeah, yeah. That shit, that shit blew my mind. I was like, huh? That shit was crazy. It's fire, though. And then, so, so you were on the Nintendo. So you're a Nintendo kid, then. That's what it sounds like. Yeah, but after that, after the week, I, I went to my PlayStation Three, PS Four, and then after the PS Four, I got my my laptop, and then get your PC gaming. Yeah, no, that should change. Gaming. That should changes your life whenever you're on, like, going from a console to a PC. Like that should like everything at your disposal. You can do anything on that thing. Like, yeah. it's fucking crazy. Like, I was like, my Xbox One became obsolete. Like, like I stopped. Honestly, like, just, yeah. I didn't completely just like went full PC gamer mode. I was like, damn, shit. I see why people were doing it for all these years. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm just missing out. Has everything like at like your disposal? Because I always like have this like notion. I'm like, oh fuck, it's expensive as hell. Like to get a good. PC, it's an investment. It is it's though. Worth now, it. Mine paid off. That's all. I, like like that paying that thousand dollars like really fucking like that shit changed my life. So I mean, I didn't pay it. I'm still owing them. But <laughs> <laughs> it's but, worth it. But um, so lastly, uh, anything you want to say to y'all supporters and y'all's fans and like what anything coming up? Like what's 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 next for y'all? In the immediate future, I just want to say shout out everybody. I love everyone. You know, it's all love. It's all positivity. Got to spread that shit everywhere. You know, because there's a lot of negativity in the world, and we don't want that shit. You know what I mean? That's you know, so real. Fuck the negative energy. Positive energy only. Shout out. Based vibes only. Shout out AFTS. Shout out. Shout out corrupt clothing. Hey, thank you, bro. Back, bro. Appreciate yeah. it. On God, bro. I love everybody. Um, we got new music coming soon with big ass artists. You know what I mean? Like. Artists that we've been like fucking with for a while, so hashtag soon, bro. Stay in, stay in. Hashtag true. bless. Oh yeah. What about you? Um, be kind to each other. Um, stream AFTS. Shout out Fat World. Shout out As Fat. Um, thank you guys for having us. Of course, of course, of course. It's an honor doing this, and um, don't go Joe's mode. <laughs> <laughs> I want to talk about George Miller before we end it. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, right. Shout out Angels. Shout out Corrupt. Shout out some Dead Kids. Um, returning up 2024. Oh, yeah. 
I'll 2024. What's judge mode? <laughs> <laughs> so please elaborate. Um, I forget exactly where Joe's mode came from. I think we were just messing around making a song, but Joe's mode is basically, um, it's just having fun. Like it doesn't need to, like, it, it first came from getting really fucked up. Like it could be off anything, but then I kind of like, I didn't want, you know, to be associated yeah, with be, bad things bad, like that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, so I just kind of made it like have fun, like like just be excited for life, you know, and then it can be either that or though. It's whatever. It could be a good thing or a bad <laughs> thing. It, it's whatever you want it to be. If, if it's, it's just saying it will get your blood pumping, you know, I'll probably get Joe's <laughs> mode, you know. Go Joe's mode or don't go Joe's mode. But yeah, yeah. Joe, go Joe's Joe, mode Joe, at Joe, your own Joe. discretion. Yeah. <laughs> yes. New Joe's mode shirts coming soon. That'd be um, hard. Fuck yeah. Well, fuck, man. This has been a Artist Hour with Angels from the South. Stream their music. Uh, they going up 2024. So I'm going to say, go to their shows, support them, show love. Uh, we out this bitch. We'll see y'all later. Bye bye. I'll always be around. That's for certain. I'll always be around. That's for certain. If you ever heard it, I will be the first to know. I'll bring hell on earth for you. Video. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe you said Clarence Wasabi. I don't. Dude, I like Clarence. I, I think you have to have like friends like the friends in Clarence <laughs> for it to like click. He's he's the fucking ball dude. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. Yeah, bro. <laughs> That's, That's him. him. That's probably why I don't like it. <laughs> he's too I, I feel like I'm literally Clarence, bro. Like. I'm fucking. What's what's the square head dude? <laughs> oh um. Oh, oh my god. That's, that's low key. The, the one with the blue shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I'm oh, fucking dead. He said the one with the he said with the the burger with the rooster sauce. Yeah. Can't you hear him? <laughs> <laughs> bro. Why did I clip too much, bro? That's fucking funny. Damn it. <laughs> Chicken burger with that. What was that, sweetie? He said he wants a chicken burger with rooster sauce. Okay. Chicken burger with rooster sauce. Yeah, yeah, chicken nuggets. So. Can't you hear him? He said he wants the chicken nuggets.